story this evening. The tally of deals at IDEX, the annual international defense conference and exhibition in Abu Dhabi, now runs into billions of dirhams. Today, on the fourth day, the UAE alone signed defense contracts valued at 3.68 billion dirhams. Many of the deals are being struck with UAE companies or partnerships between local companies and international players. 11.6 billion dirhams is the total value of contracts the UAE has so far signed at IDEX this week, and there's still one day to go, with discussions and negotiations and deals taking place. For defence providers, some are seeing a 50% year-on-year growth. This year at IDEX, we announced a memorandum of understanding with uh, the International Golden Group, a Abu Dhabi-based defence company, to enter into a collaboration to market our range of vehicles in the UAE and elsewhere in the, in the region, and also to look at the possibility of establishing a production facility here to create a land forces system around our vehicle platforms. Annual defence spending, which is currently worth well over $1.5 trillion globally, seems to be recession-proof, even if governments have to borrow in order to spend. Governments around the world are starting to face different kinds of threats. There's also a very strong acknowledgement of the value of human life and as a result governments are now starting to invest significantly in protective equipment so that their troops can go into to difficult situations, do their work and get out safely. Paramount Group specialises in land, sea and air defence. This year in Abu Dhabi, the focus though has been on its mine protected armoured vehicles. We're already operating three factories around the world. It is our intention to, to build another five over the next five years. We believe that the market for, for our type of equipment is in excess of 5,000 units in the Middle East over the next five to seven years. So we're going to need to gear up to create capacity to, to, to manufacture not the full quantity, we have competitors out there, but uh, we're hoping to get a, a sizable slice of the available market. There has never been a time where technology is moving so fast in the defence business. The threats being faced are also very different to what they once were. And a lot of defence contractors are technology driven, we're market driven, so we're constantly monitoring what's going on out there to determine what the demands are, what, what we need to do to improve the survivability and the safety for, for operators, and we're investing in, in creating the technology that allows us to achieve that. Defence spending is expected to keep climbing. According to Frost and Sullivan, combined GCC budgets for defence could reach 80 billion US dollars within three years from now.